subtracting fractions using borrowing, and we'll be simplifying as well. So in this, we cannot subtract 5 from 4 from the fraction, so we're going to borrow from the, this 4, right? Sorry, we cannot subtract 5 from 1, so we'll be borrowing 1 from the 4. So the 4 becomes a 3, and here's the 1 that you borrowed. Next to the 1 over 10, minus 2 and 5 tenths. Now, we're going to turn this into a improper fraction by using multiplication and adding. So, we have 3 here, and 10 times 1 is 10, plus 1 more makes 11 over 10, minus 2 and 5 tenths. Now we can subtract 5 from 11. Oh, let's start with 2 from 3. 2 from 3 leaves 1. 5 from 11 leaves 6 over 10. Now, this can be simplified by dividing by 2. So let's simplify dividing top and bottom by 2. And the fraction now becomes 1 and 3 fifths. Next, we cannot subtract 9 from 1, so we'll need to borrow from the 6. When I borrow 1 from the 6, it becomes a 5. And here's the 1 that we borrowed next to 1 over 12, minus 3 and 9 twelfths. Now I'm going to multiply 1 times 12, or sorry, 12 times 1, plus 1 here. Turn that into an improper fraction. So we'll get the 5. 1 times, 12 times 1 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. So you get 13 over 12 minus 3 and 9 twelfths. And now we can subtract. 9 from, sorry, 3 from 5 leaves 2. 9 from 13 leaves 4 over 12. And both can be divided by 4. So I'm going to divide this by 4, divide this by 4, and it will simplify into 2 and 1 third. Okay, furthermore, let's see here. We cannot subtract 8 from 5, so we'll borrow 1 from the 6. So the 6 now becomes a 5. Here's the 1. 5 fifteenths minus 1 and 8. Okay, now from here, I'm going to use multiplication and adding. So 15 times 1 plus 5 more. So I end up with 5 here. 15 times 1 is 15, plus 5 more is 20. And that's over 15. Minus 1, you got 8 over 15. Now let's subtract. 1 from 5 leaves 4, and 8 from 20 leaves 12 over 15. And this can be simplified by dividing top and bottom by 3. So we're divided by 3, and we end up getting 4 and 4 fifths.